Okay, here we are in thrust with N1. <laughs> no afterburner. Wah, well, uh, funny. We're in a 737, so yeah, no afterburner. But um, again, sorry for the repetition. Highly nonlinear because turbines don't do anything until they're spinning fast. Because a turbine, when it's turning slow, it's not an engine. It's a chain link fence with some gasoline on it. Uh, you got to spin fast to go anywhere. And so what we see here is the simplest of all things. Um, when that N1, the, the outer fan driving the engine, is at low RPM, as you see with my mouse cursor, absolutely nothing happens. And by the time you get up to 50% N1, well, you're starting to get 6,000 pounds out of 38, you know, one part in seven or something of your thrust. And it's not until your N1, you know, really gets up there to like 90% that you've got enough thrust to really feel like your engine is doing what it's supposed to do, or 95% to, to really start to, to get to the capabilities of the engine. So this is just a, indicating that these turbines, they're almost useless down at low speed, and they really start to give you the goods when they get up close to their operational RPM. Um, I found that a thrust power curve uh, should be about 2.5 down at the low range, uh, about 3.0 up at the high range with an interpolation in between. That's what you can use for, say, the CFM56 and the Boeing 737. So again, turbines, nonlinear, they got to spin to do any work for you, and uh, you enter those constants here.